Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to join you today at Bridgehams AGM. Singapore's COVID-19 situation is under control. A week ago, Singapore exited the circuit breaker and started resuming activities in phases. The progress made during the two-month circuit breaker gave us the confidence to open up. We started with businesses that operate in settings with lower transmission risks. By the end of this month, we expect to have most, if not all, of our economy restarting operations, subject, of course, to the necessary safe management measures. I would like to thank British businesses for your support and cooperation. We have all adapted quickly to new ways of working. Telecommuting and video conferencing have become the norm. In fact, this AGM is now being held virtually as well. British Chambers will also host its first digital networking webinar this Thursday, helping businesses stay connected easily. We must remain vigilant in our battle against COVID-19. Protecting lives and livelihoods remain our priority. We will continue working closely with businesses and workers to ensure a smooth reopening of the economy in a safe and sustainable manner. As you know, the Singapore government is dedicating almost 100 billion Singapore dollars to reopen, recover, and re-emerge stronger. This amounts to over 19% of our GDP and is a landmark package for an unprecedented global crisis. We have set up the Emerging Stronger Task Force to review how Singapore can stay vigilant, resilient, and build new sources of dynamism in the post-COVID world. We understand that companies, many like yourselves here, are anxious for their employment pass holders to return to Singapore. Let me assure all of you that the economic agencies have been working closely with the Ministry of Manpower to facilitate this and to minimize disruption to business operations. We also know that business travel is critical for many of you, given our position here as a regional hub. We've been working closely with key economic partners to establish common standards and protocols. Yesterday, we launched the Singapore-China Fast Lane to facilitate essential businesses and official travel with China. Going forward, we will continue to put in place more of such arrangements with partner countries, including those in Europe. There is much that UK and Singapore can do together New areas of opportunities have emerged amidst this crisis. Some will display to our strength. Allow me to share a few ideas in the tech and biomedical sectors. On the tech front, businesses across all sectors can turn this global crisis into an opportunity to digitalize, restructure, and transform. A recent McKenzie report found that in eight weeks, many countries vaulted five years ahead in digital adoption by consumers and businesses. Let us continue to deepen our cooperation in this space. As you know, Singapore extended our Global Innovation Alliance or GIA network to London last November. In March this year, IoT Tribe, our GIA partner in the UK, launched two programs. The first one, called IoT Tribe SG, is a program that targets global deep tech startups that are looking to expand in Asia using Singapore as a springboard. The second one with a much longer name called IoT Tribe SG Plus, London Tech Calling. It's a program that helps Singapore-based startups to access the European market through London. On the biomedical front, discovering, manufacturing, and distributing a safe and effective vaccine is a vital requirement to returning life back to normal. The UK has launched promising programs to fast-track the discovery and development of vaccines. Here in Singapore, we are building up our vaccine manufacturing capacity. We intend to offer fill and finish contract manufacturing services to vaccine developers. This should help them ramp up production faster while ensuring high standards of safety and quality in the manufacturing process. There is good potential for Singapore and the UK to pool our capabilities and cooperate in enhancing the global capacity for COVID-19 vaccines. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, the tech and biomedical sectors are just two possible areas for collaboration as we work together to find a sustainable new normal. I call to the resilience and ingenuity of British businesses to weather these storms together with Singapore and emerge from the other side stronger than before. Continue to preserve your capacity, grow your capabilities and retain your workers so that you are ready to rebound off the blocks when the cycle turns. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all a fruitful AGM. Stay safe, 
be healthy. Thank you very much.